Let me talk to you about um, how to do a static lunge. So a dynamic lunge would be one where I'm stepping forward and stepping backwards with alternating legs or stepping backwards and stepping forwards with alternating legs or even I suppose doing a walking lunge. <clears throat> In this case, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be staying still. Let's go over the form of the lunge first. What does the lunge look like from the side and what does the lunge look like from the front? First, before you do anything, I want you to make sure that your core is tight. Like someone's going to punch you in the stomach and you're protecting yourself against the blow. Keep your shoulder blades pulled together just a little bit so that your chest is nice and straight and sticking out and you're looking straight ahead. What you're going to do is take a staggered stance. And from here, I want you to remember to always keep your weight on the front heel, okay? You don't want to roll over onto the toes, you want to be on the heel. And you want to try and keep your back as straight as possible through the full range of motion. This is not a good exercise for people who have knee or hip problems or core strength issues, okay? So if you do, talk to your trainer and he or she may want to adjust the exercise for you. But if you are strong enough to do them, what you want to do is stay straight up and down and drive this back knee down until it almost touches the ground and then come back up. And then down and then up. So this is what I mean by a static lunge, okay? You're remaining in one place, just going up and down, up and down, up and down. You're going to do the prescribed number of repetitions on one side, and then you're going to switch to the other side. You may want to take a short break in between because a lot of the same muscles are used in the front leg as in the back leg, and you might need them to recover maybe for 20 or 30 seconds in between sides. So those are the things to remember when you're doing a lunge. When you're looking at me straight on, and this would be a good test to see whether or not your core strength and your strength in general is good enough for you to be able to lunge. There's two main tests. How low can you get while staying on the heel of the front foot and not bending over while staying straight up and down? That's one test, okay? And the second test is how much lateral stability do you have when you're lunging? You shouldn't be wobbling all over the place. What it should look like is this. I'm staying straight, okay? I'm not tipping to the sides, and my knee moves in the same direction as my toes through the full range of motion, okay? It doesn't go to the side, it doesn't bow in, it just straight with the toes. So those are two things you want to look for. Can I get my knee almost to the ground while maintaining a straight upper body and staying on the heel of the front foot without any pain too? You want to be careful about pain. That could signify something going wrong in the knee, the back, the hips, something like that. And when I'm facing the camera, am I laterally stable? And can I keep the knee in line with my toes, okay? So again, you do the prescribed number of repetitions on one side. Breathe in, out, in, out, in, out. And then, you may need to take a break like I said. If not, you go to the other side and You do the prescribed number of repetitions there, okay? Static lunges, these are unweighted just using your body weight.